This is Pat Freeman, the Mighty Over, here at CLV TV and 1080 AM WFO Radio for our weekly sports update. We're in the middle of concluding the NFL draft when this video was taken, and the Buffalo Bills, to me, have had an outstanding draft. They have picked players that they've looked at closely. A lot of them aren't the top names that a lot of you are used to seeing, but they have addressed some very uh, credible areas on this football team. Beginning with number one draft choice, C.J. Spiller. A lot of you don't realize Fred Jackson is 29 years old. Most running backs lose, start losing a step at the age of 30. Fred Jackson started a little bit later than the average running back because he played in the Arena League and he also played in NFL Europe. He was an undrafted free agent, so he got his start a little late. So obviously you're going to have to replace uh, a running back somewhere in uh, the draft, and the best running back on the board at number nine was available, and that's C.J. Spiller. C.J. Spiller is an instant playmaker. This is a faster version of Thurman Thomas. He runs the 40 in 4.32 seconds. He can do it all. He can play receiver. He can come out the backfield. He can return punts. He can return kicks. He is a solid playmaker for the Buffalo Bills. Outstanding draft choice. A lot of people wanted him to take an offensive tackle or a quarterback. Well, everybody said this is the worst uh, quarterback crop in years in this draft. The highly touted guys are not uh, worth the amount of money that you would pay a person at the number nine overall pick. In the second round, the Bills passed on Terrence Mount Cody, who I had picked to come to the Buffalo Bills. They passed on Terrence Mount Cody for Terrell Troop. Terrell Troop is a solid pick. This is a guy that's worked his tail off throughout college, got his weight under control, has an excellent work ethic, excellent against the run, solid pick. In the third round, Alex Carrington, excellent athlete out of Arkansas State. This is a guy that can come in right now and give you some good time in a 3-4 front. He is uh, built like Bruce Smith. He runs the 40 and 4.93, which is excellent for a person that is 6'4", 295 pounds. Well, also, in the fourth round, they've got an outstanding wide receiver, excellent athlete, Marcus Easley from the University of Connecticut. This is a guy that can come in and contribute, learn the game of football like James Hardy and Stevie Johnson. You strengthen your receiving course with bigger receivers, guys that can go up and jump for the pass. This guy has a 37-inch vertical leap. He is someone the Buffalo Bills coveted. They got him in the fourth round, in the fifth round, the steal of the draft, I believe, because I was the one that said the Bills were going to take him in the third round. Well, they got Ed Wang, offensive tackle uh, from the uh, Virginia Tech University, and they got him in the fifth round. Ed Wang is a guy that needs to improve himself, learn the game. He'll have an opportunity to do that in Buffalo. I think he's going to be a very serviceable offensive tackle in this league. He is from uh, originally from China. And he's six foot five, three hundred and fifteen pounds, solid choice. In the sixth round, the Buffalo Bills took Arthur Motes, uh, linebacker uh, from James Madison. He's six foot two hundred and forty six pounds. This is a guy the Buffalo Bills need. He had a solid uh, career, eleven sacks, has good speed, good work ethic. I think Buddy Nix has done an outstanding job. You've got to give Buddy Nix an opportunity. This is a guy that understands talent. He understands how to build a football team. But you've got to give him an opportunity to improve this team. Well, at the time of this taping, and maybe next week we'll finish up with the draft, the Bills have one more choice in the sixth round. They have not made that choice as of yet, but we'll talk about that on next week. I'm impressed with what Buddy Nix has done on paper. We've got to see the season unfold. No games are won in April, so those of you that are crying and yelling, what are the Bills doing? What are the Bills doing? There are no games won in April. You cannot take players and pay them 8 or $9 million that you don't believe can help you. That's why they did not take Jimmy Clausen. That's why they did not play, take uh, Tim Tebow. That is what happens when you're dealing with the draft. You have to deal with where your team is positioned and how much you're going to have to pay them. And you have to look at your value. Best value for the Buffalo Bills, C.J. Spiller from Clemson. That is a great pick and a playmaker. Be patient, Buffalo Bills fans. You have a right to be impatient. It's been 10 years of misery. But let me tell you, be patient. We'll talk again next week. I'm the Mighty Over here from CLB TV and 1080 AM WFO. Catch me on the internet, www.wfoam.com. We'll see you next